Hello everybody, welcome to this episode. Today I'm going to show you how to use the GameJolt API for Fusion. Now, I know you see there's no games here, but I am in a new account. I made a new account just for this reason. So we're going to go ahead and you just type in GameJolt and then it should come up here as the first item. Just download either the MMF2 or the Fusion. I read I downloaded the Fusion, so it should be on my desktop. I have so many things over there. Okay. Now, here it is. It should look like this. Just drag it. There will be a few um, things you will need to download. For example, these objects. Like this one, this one, this one, and that one, and this one. The other two are just active objects. Okay. So let's go on. And once you download the, the downloaded all these X Lua, you'll need to download online. Um, I will try to see if I have time to put a link in the description. So, okay, here we go. I'm gonna create a new app. I'll just rename this to Test App. Okay. Here we go. Now, like it said, we need to copy all these to our frame. And then just paste it right there. Okay, so there you go. I'd like to just put it there. Or like just drag these all one down. And put this on top. Okay. Once you do that, we're going to go to the Game Joel API here. Go to the event editor. You can delete these. All these uh, comments. You don't need them. Okay, once you do that, you're just going to copy the GameJolt API folder and the available commands for you folder. Not, or the group, sorry. Not this example stuff. We're not going to need this. Go here to frame 1, or whatever frame, and just paste it in. Now we're going to need to uh, start configuring our API to work. Because you see, the API is still not set. Let's go here. This is the original. So here we go. You would go to your dashboard and then click on your game. Now go to game API and then go to API settings. And here you go. This is where you're going to find your stuff for your game. So go to click team, right click on the uh, thing, edit. Set integer variable game ID to zero. Just go like that. Once you got this window open, just hit OK. And then here's where you're going to add your uh, I API key or game ID. So just copy that and paste it. Once you've done that, just hit OK. Now it's set your game ID, but it hasn't set the private key. So we're going to set that. So come here to uh, Fusion, or not Fusion, um, your game, where it says private key, click, click on show key, and then just copy that. Go to click team, set, and then right click on it again, edit, set string variable game key to blank, OK, and paste it. There you go. You have now configured your API. Now we're going to see if it worked. I'm going to just grab in some stuff here. Okay. These are pretty much just going to help us test if our API works. Oh, there's another one down here. Oh, wait, we already got it. All right. Now we're going to have to go here and grab something from the example stuff. Scroll down and where it says on command loop success, just copy that. Because there's going to be a little thing we're going to need to edit here. Uh, 
Okay. Oof, whoops. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to get a string in here. Log in. Please. So that says log in, please. Put it over here. And, you know, I'm going to put it right under there. Right there. Log in, please. Now here, we're just going to go ahead and right click. And then we're going to make it where if it's on success, we'll do you logged in. So you would just right click and then change alternatable value or string then set it to that. Now we're going to need to grab more events from here so we can pretty much configure the rest of the API. So here we're going to need the uh, authorized button one. It should be at the very top right under 210 so it's 211. Once you copied that, go over to your game and just paste it in there. Now it's pretty much going to set our string. It's pretty much saying when we click on the button it sets our uh, what's it called user and token to what we just whatever is typed in here these two edit boxes. Alright and now we're going to go ahead and copy one last event. It's at the very bottom on and on failure so it should be 227 paste it well it would be a different number if you didn't remove the uh, what's it called comments but I removed them so it should be 227 I said yep yep okay so once we get the failure command in here it's gonna do nothing so we're just gonna copy that one down by dragging it down right click on it and then hit edit then we're gonna edit this message so we'll put failed to log in okay and now that should work so let's give it a try Oh wait, you might want to put the um thing as password just so it doesn't do anything. So now we're done. So I have to get my let's see here. The name of my account. So let me go on my dashboard. Here we go. Jacob's API tester. Copy that. So you can pretty much run the frame now. You can remove this later. Okay? Now we're going to go ahead and get my game key. This is what they're going to use to log in. Oh, where's the game? Here. And paste it. You logged in. Now if we completely mess this up, fail to log in. There you go. That is how you create GameJoy API into your game. So you feel free to play around with this. Um, shout out to Upper Nate. He's on Game Jolt. He is the one who created this API. And it works. So what I can do right now is... Uh, let me see what time I'm at. Nine minutes. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and do it. I'm going to make it... I'm going to show you guys how to make it where you achieve trophies. Okay. I'm going to add a trophy... Um, I'm going to clone this button just so it's easier to earn the trophy. Okay. Uh, earn trophy. There you go. Now, we're going to go ahead and go to the game, or the game tool API thing. Go here. Uh, just delete these all again. There we go. Alright. Here we go. This is what we're going to want. We need to copy the right event here. 
Okay. All right, so we're just gonna delete the uh, set string to user. Is this the right one? Where's the right one? There we go. Okay, so just delete those, and then you can just click on it and press Control C to copy it. Go to our game. Under the success, you want to go here. Uh, what do I set in here? I forgot. Um, anyway, so now the, the way to edit or add Trophy Store Game, we're going to go to Game API. Trophies. I'm going to add a Platinum, because why not? I'm going to add a Click. And then I'm just going to put Click the Button. You can make it a secret trophy so no one can see what the description and you can hide the trophy. There we go. So now we just added a trophy and here's our ID for the trophy. Now if we go here, we can actually find an example somewhere. Huh. I have no idea up there, but I'm pretty sure. So we're going to go ahead and go back here. Now we're going to put um, achieved to that game ID, or not the game ID, the trophy ID. So 41983 is mine. So 41983. Let me just copy it so I can paste it. And edit set trophy ID to the same thing. That's gonna call the trophy fetch. Edit call, and you're gonna do uh, what's it called? Let me find it. I am still learning this. I used it all the time though. So trophy fetch. Here we go. Just edit. Call function trophy achieved. Um. Okay, so here we go. You can pretty much just delete the set achieved thing from the. Oh, frick. Um. Hold on. There we go. Just drag that down. Edit. Or you can delete the achieve. Delete. Achieved. There you go. And now where it says call function trophy fetch. Call function trophy achieved. That should work now. Let's go ahead and go to our thing here. and View game page. Go to our trophies. And go here. Or to our game. And log in. Okay, I don't remember. The uh, token. So I'm going to change the token to. Tester. Earn trophy. There you go. Well, I think I made it where when you log in, you get the trophy. Yep. So you're going to want to just make it where you click on the get trophy button that it does all this fetch. Oh, whoops. There you go. That's how you do it. Anyway, guys, that is how you earn trophies in the game. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!